we are going to start with an empty project so I have a tutorials folder as you can see and inside of it there is nothing no file no folder so let's create a new project in our empty tutorials folder npm oh sorry mpx create expo app notify notify is the name of the app that we are going to use or create in this entire lecture let it install it will install some files and folders and dependencies you can wait during this time once it is done i'm going to change the directory with the command cd notify so that we are now pointing at the notify project and now let's start the project on our emulator with the command npm start you can see the notify folder has been created and inside of it are our files and folders this is the app.js file that we will be working on and the app is now running on the emulator as you can see on the right hand side i'm going to edit the text and write down notify and then run the command again and it will show notify now instead of the default text now we are going to install some dependencies stop the server by pressing ctrl c this will stop the server install the dependencies of notification and device you can copy it from the description after the dependencies have installed reload the app and it should work just fine now we are going to copy this code the link is in the description copy it and paste it in your app.js file make sure to remove all the previous code that is in the app.js don't worry about what the code is doing right now that will be explained later once it is done you can reload the app and you can see in the expo go app on the right side that we are getting some sort of token the title body and data and a button blue button that is saying press to schedule a notification and along with it an error not an error but a warning a warning is um, something that is not related to notifications it is related to the fact that i don't have an eas.json file right now which we will be creating um, soon and if i press the blue button you're going to see that i received a notification let me just show it on the notification bar you've got mail here is the notification body so that is what this entire code is doing it is generating the notification and here is the entire content that we can change later on um, the delay of two seconds the uh, the message body data and title you can edit all of this over here which we will do right now let's rename it to soul and press the button and you can see that the notification has changed here is the notification soul so we have the body and the soul now as you can see we are getting an error or a warning um, that is not because of any notification um, code that we wrote it's because of that i created this project from scratch and it does not have any eas.json file or a project id in that matter so we need to have these two things and that's exactly what i'm going to do so that so that we can get rid of this error or warning so let's create a new file and name it eas.json and copy this code from the web page the link is given in the description paste it in the eas.json file those of you who do not know about this file just keep in mind that it helps in building the app and once you build the app it will automatically generate if it isn't found but i am creating it manually so that i can get the project um, project id and this warning is removed otherwise i can wait for the for building it at the end of this project but let's get rid of this warning now 
now upon running this app um, we will still get the error and in the file you can see that there is no project id but we will be getting that project id in just a second so let's stop the server and run the command eas build configure this is going to set up our eas.json file and the project id make sure that you are logging into your export dashboard and you can see that in app.json we have eas project id which was not there before now we are all set up and we can run our or reload our project and the warning should be gone there you go our warning is removed and our notifications are working now let's test our app or notifications from an external server which and for that we're going to use export dev notifications again the link i will provide in the description copy the token from the console into the first input field this token is same as the one you are seeing on your screen on the right side leave all the other input fields blank just enter the message title and the message body and click on send notification and you can see that our title and body are being shown on the emulator and we have received the notification from the external server you can also add the data in json format so let's add the first property parameter 01 and its value should be it can be any value now let's send notification again and the data is also being received The next step is to create a Firebase console project. So head over to console.firebase.google.com and create a new project. I'm going to name my notify and press continue. You can connect your app with Google Analytics if you want to. But for this project, I'm going to uncheck this option and click on create project. It is automatically going to redirect you to the project dashboard and you can see that our project has been created. Click on the project and you will see the dashboard screen again. Click on Android icon to register your app for Android platform. The first field to enter is Android package name. And if you have an Android package name, copy it from the app.json file. If you don't have the package name, you can create one. Head over to app.json. Under the Android parenthesis, write package and you can name it anything you want. Just remember that it should follow this format. You can provide a nickname. I'm going to be consistent and name it Notify. Click on Register app. Download the Google service JSON file and place it in the root directory of your project.
Now add the path of this Google service file into your app.json Android body. Click on next, ignore all other steps for now, click on next again and then press continue to the console. Now in your Firebase project console, click on project overview and project settings, then click on cloud messaging. Where you will see the cloud messaging API, it has been disabled. So let's enable it. Click on the three dots, then click on manage API. This will open console.cloud.google from where we can enable our two APIs for this project. Click enable right below the cloud messaging. Make sure the right project is selected inside the Google Cloud Platform. Once it has been enabled, click on Enable APIs and Services on the left tab. Then click on Enable API. Search for Firebase Installation API and it should be enabled by default. If not, then you should enable it. Go back to the cloud messaging page, reload the page, and it should be enabled now. Open the Google service JSON file. Make sure that the current key under the API key property is same as that in the Google console. You can check the Google console API key by clicking on the credentials. Here you can see the Android key is generated automatically by Firebase. Click on show key and match this key with the one in the Google services file. Reload the app so we can check that after all these configurations, our app is still working. And here you go, it's working just like before. Once again, we are going to check from the external server. So open export.dev slash notifications, enter your message and send a notification. And there you'll see on the right emulator that our notification has been updated through an external server. Go to your Firebase project dashboard and inside the cloud messaging, copy the server key, then go to your export project. In this case, it is notify. Click on the credentials. Scroll down to FCM server key. Under the Google Cloud messaging token, paste the key that you just copied. And click save. Now the next step is to check our application on a live physical device. And for that we need an APK. So stop the server, run the command EAS build configure. The platform in this case is Android. Then run the command EAS build p android profile preview. This is going to generate an APK in the export dashboard. Select yes when asked to generate a new Android key store. 
our app is on its way it's going to create an apk after a while so let's wait you can see that the apk has been created and ready to be download and install in any android device so let's open our emulator this emulator is screen sharing the exact same thing on my phone so whatever you are seeing here is actually on my physical device that i'm using right now so let's open the same link on the mobile and download the apk do remember that this is an actual device that i'm using It has downloaded, so let's install it. The app has been installed, so let's open. You can see the exact same thing has opened, just like it was being opened in Expo Go. Let's press the button, and the notification has been received, as you can see in the status bar. Do note that the notification is being received from the Notify mobile app and not from the Expo Go. Here is the app that we just installed and you can see the badge of number 1 on top of it indicating that we have a notification from this app and that is the exact notification that you just saw. Now let's try to receive a notification from external server. Write down the exponent wish token, message body, title and the data. And click on send notification. And you will see on the right hand side that we have received the notification from an external server which is exactly what we want now our apk file is receiving notification our app is receiving notification from external server as well as local notifications